Here's a quick video about my firewood processor. Uh, I had this old jet ski trailer laying around, so that's what I used for the, the base of it. Uh, the saw, I have a 440 still. Uh, great saw. The uh, It's fixed cutting head. I don't remember the size exactly. The brushes, I have a handle that I can operate that'll line up the logs for me so I don't have to reach in there while it's cutting. Yeah, I have an automatic valve. I don't remember the name of it. Pull it, when it reaches the end, it automatically retracts and then it's done. The saw, how I mounted that, it's pretty simple. All I did was get a stupid little door hinge use the existing bolts and then back here I just drilled a hole through my handle and uh, goes on and off real easy and then it just swivels right inside this little slot that I have in this metal that I got from a local metal yard the uh, tracks rollers that I got from the local metal yard a little scrap yard the rolling head I got this set up here from the local scrap yard they have a bunch of tractor stuff and I just used a TV winch and pulled it all apart and welded that nut onto that gear and actually works pretty damn good. And the motor, that's a Harbor Freight motor. Uh, the Predator 420. And battery. And I have, let's see, what is this? Uh, four inch, four inch bore, 24 inch stroke ram, and it's all mounted on a big old I beam that I got from the scrap yard. Um, I wish I would have got something a, a little bit thicker because uh, it does flex a little bit. And the motor, I ran it right through the middle of the I-beam and use the I-beam as a mount for the uh, the pump right there. So I got that pump going through the middle of the I-beam. It's bolted right to the I-beam. Um, I got this old propane tank from the same scrap yard. Um, I probably should have got a bigger tank. It seems like it overheats quite a bit. Um, or add some cooling to it somehow. And it's all scrapped together. I got uh, the springs on here for a little bit of tension. Uh, spring on either side. Um, let's see. My opening is 15 inches. So I don't really cut up logs too much bigger than that. I, I probably have a few back in here, but those are for the cabin. And that's about it.